So now we're on to page five. So page five is another waterfall, but this time it's a horizontal one. And we are using, oh, I gotta, I gotta find the paper that we're using for this. Um, but it's gonna be another giraffe. One, two, three, four, five waterfall pieces. So what you're going to do to start with to make this, you're going to cut five pieces. Five and a half inches wide, four and a half inches tall. Five pieces. You're going to put it in at the four and a half inch side up, and you're going to score it at four. So fold and burnish that. And add your score tape. And then once you get all your pieces with their score tape on them, this time we're going to build it on craft cardstock. So you're gonna cut a piece that is five and a half inches wide by six and a half inches tall. And we're going to start by putting our top piece up here. And it's actually easier to see against the craft cardstock and make sure I even get it straight. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my tape and start adhering it up and down. Oops, let me get this. I can't, can't see it. That looks pretty straight. I want a little bit of the craft showing up here too. But I'm gonna put mine down and I'll meet you once I get this all down. Now for this image, this is actually the same image. This is from the eight by eight. This is from the 12 by 12. So you can kind of see the border is the same. It's a little bit different than this one, though I guess you could use this from the eight by eight because we are going to be using this giraffe right here. We're going to be cutting this giraffe out. So I wonder if you wanted to use this one would you have enough? This is five and about one eighth. No, you don't have enough room. That's why I didn't use it. So this one measures this, this width wise like five and one sixteenth. The the um, flap is five and one eighth. So this image is five and one sixteenth. So that's why I used it. And yeah, so that's what you're going to do. You're gonna cut this from the 12 by 12. It's just this same image, cut it to five and one sixteenth width wise. And then you're going to do the same thing. Once you get to the, the bottom of it right here, this half inch part, you're going to cut a half inch here, half inch here. What I wanted to do was have this half inch, say giraffes right here. I, want, I didn't want to cut through the words there. So this is a half an inch half an inch, a 
half an inch. Stories isn't cut in half. You can see it's stories, half an inch. And then the main image, animal stories. So I cut it like right at in between animals and stories and then half an inch all the way down. So you can kind of see how I did that. And oh, and actually what I did, I actually started my, it doesn't really matter. I didn't start my um, waterfall at the very top on this one. What did I do? Oh yeah, I did. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, let me explain. Let me explain. Start cutting half an inch down here. Half an inch, half an inch, half an inch, half an inch. So when you get to this final portion, The final portion here is going to be three and an eighth inch. And then I added a blue strip on top here. I think that's what I did. Yeah, because I added this, this little strip of blue on the top, like an eighth of an, uh, what is that? Quarter of an inch on top. Hopefully that makes sense. So what I did is I added a quarter of an inch of that blue on top here because by the time I cut cut a half an inch, half an inch, half an inch, half an inch, this wasn't long enough to fill up the whole flap. So I just pulled in this solid blue. I'm sure I got it from somewhere. I just look for solid blue somewhere. So that's what I did. I think this is where I got my solid blue for that top st strip was from this sheet. It has some blue in through here, so I just cut some, some blue out through here to fill in this top part of the, the waterfall here. So let me just show you the waterfall again. Starting from the bottom one, half an inch. There's that half an inch, that half an inch where it says these words, this half an inch, this half an inch that has stories on it. And then here it says animal stories. So you have your waterfall. Just kind of get that put on here. Let's see, do not put do not put this piece of paper on yet, this top one, because we're gonna have a magnet. So go ahead and cut it, put every, every, all the other pieces down, but wait to put this one down because we have a magnet. Oh my gosh. Now, we need to cover the back of this before we put on the waterfall. So you're gonna get this from the eight by eight collection and it's actually like this. And what you're gonna do is you're going to cut this off right where the gold line is right there. And you're gonna put this up here and you're going to trim it. About right here. So I'm going to put that in my trimmer. So I put it in the trimmer. This is going to go here. And then this is the piece we cut off from the top right here. So we cut this piece off and this is going to turn around and go under here like this. So you're going to cut this so it fits right in here. So this piece, basically you're just cutting it right where the gold is right there. That gold line right there, that's gonna just slip under here and you're gonna here 
this stuff on. I'm going to ink the edges and that's going to be your base page. Something like that. So you can see this is your base page. I don't know if you can tell. Then you're going to adhere, not yet, your waterfall. But first we have to make this little closure for the waterfall. So I have my paper, but do not adhere this down yet. You can adhere it on the top if, if you want, but don't adhere it down here. We have this little um, flap that we're going to be using to close our waterfall. So you're going to cut a piece two and a half inches wide by four and three quarters inches tall. You're going to score it at three quarters of an inch, so you have a three quarter of an inch flap. So first thing you're going to do, you can get this page situated. If you, if you use tape, you can tape the top part up here, adhere it to the top and the sides, just not at the bottom yet. So this, you're going to put tape on the back of this, or glue, if that's what you like, and you're going to put this like an can see where it is. It's just a, a little bit of the back pattern is showing here, and then it's a little bit of this pattern down here. So this is going to be about right here and right there, and get it straight. Follow your triangles down below, get that situated, and then adhere this down. So I'm just going to use some of this because I don't want to glue it down like that. So next, um, you're going to find the center of your little flap and find the center of your waterfall. You're going to slip this, put your your tape under here and you're going to slip this under that designer paper that you haven't adhered yet and you're going to get these cen this centered like that and then you can adhere it down. So you got your waterfall down, you got the this closure down so now we need to cover this closure, just this top part. I just used the back of, um, I, this was the back of the Stamperia Patterns and Solids, I think. Yeah, it's just the back of the Patterns and Solids. And I just cut a strip of paper and put this down here. You can see the, the one I used was this one. I kind of put the book, little book, right in the middle that's the way I did mine. So if you want to find that pattern, you can. Little book there with some green down here. But for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to put this down. Hard to see. Just put this down. Just be real quick. Make sure you ink everything. I'm just doing this to show you guys how to do this, but you do it, ink it, make it look nice, get that down. And where's my piece for this side? I don't know, I know I just cut it here. So put this piece down here. Like I said, I'm just showing you vaguely how I did this. So you cut your pieces out, ink them, get them all pretty looking. So there we have our flap is covered. And then you want to get these medallions, this size. This is from the 8x8. This is the one I used. I used this one. I don't have another one to show you. 
it's this one, this pattern, and it's the tree pattern on the back. On the, on another one has this tree pattern. So what you're going to do with the top medallion, you're going to add a piece of 80 pound cardstock to it. And then you're going to ink this whole thing. And you are going to put this about, let's see, what did I do? I put mine basically two and a half inches up from the bottom. Two and a half inches up, so about right here. So you're going to adhere this down here, center it. I don't use glue stick. I always use tape, but I'm just showing you how I did this. So you're going to put that medallion on the front, get that adhered down, and then back here you're going to put a magnet. So behind here you're going to put a magnet, and then you're going to transfer the magnet to this top sheet of your waterfall. Transfer, put down your magnet, and then you're going to cover the back of this with this tree. So when you open it up, you can see the tree like that. So I'm just going to put this other medallion down for demonstration purposes. Like I said, I'm just showing you guys the process. So got the magnet hidden under here, magnet here, there. So now it's closed. Now you can adhere your pieces of your 12 by 12 image like this. You're going to cut it so there's no green showing all the way around. It's going to be like this. You're going to have a half an inch down here. You're going to have the giraffe thing down here, like this, stories. You just don't want to cut through any of the lettering. And then animals, and then you can adhere this piece down on the top flap over the magnet. And you're going to have a little space on the top because this isn't, um, this isn't tall enough to cover up the whole flap. So then you're going to get a piece of the blue. Just get a little bit, bit of blue from this image here. You can just cut that blue part off. Put some blue on the top of here. And that will give you this whole look here. So here's mine, just to show you what it looks like. So if you want to find this paper, I, like I said, I like to use the book right in the middle there. I use the tree. Here's the smaller book in the middle with this medallion. And it goes right smack over like that. So that's that part. Then you're just going to build this pocket. So next for your pocket over here, you're gonna cut a piece um, three and three quarters inches wide by four and five eighths inches tall. And then you're gonna score it half an inch, half an inch, half an inch. Go ahead and miter the corners. Um, fold and burnish and put on your tape. So I got my things cut. They're, for, they're folded. I didn't, I'm not gonna put the tape down because I'm not gonna adhere it, but you're going to be adhering this down to the bottom, flush to the bottom, and just like an eighth of an inch from the side, about right there. So I'll just put this, so this is right here. And you're basically done. All I did was add an it 
pocket insert. I use this from the 8x8 collection. So this is from the 8x8 collection. And basically what I did is I just cut out this image right there. So I have... I just started down down here and I went up to include the, the moon so you can see what I did. So this whole image that the height is five and an eighth inches. That's this is the image. And two and um, two and not quite a half. And I, then I back that image on some craft card stock that is two and a half plus one by five and three quarters plus one. And I inked the edges on everything, used my little um, stomper, what's it called? The stub punch here. So what I wanted was this to fit, make sure it fits in your pocket. I wanted this little L, L, this little giraffe to be peeking out through the pocket like that. So the way it's going to sit, here it sits in my pocket, is like that. So there he sits peeking through. And then I use the, this is definitely from the 8x8 giraffe paper and then I use this little strip I'm not sure where I got it from but you can find this strip somewhere in um, somewhere and it's just got the gold stripes there and then I put that in there and then I cut this out from the 8x8 eight eight. nobody's like you that's your power and then behind it I just put one of those tiny little medallions like that. So that's how I decorated that, that pocket. So that's it for this page. These are not complicated pages. It's just um, a lot of measuring. You have to be precise. So that's it for that page. Then we're on to the back side, which is real easy. You're getting this from the patterns and solids. You're using this paper to cover the back of the patterns and solids, and then you're cutting a belly band. So for page six, the last page, besides our inside pockets, <laughs> you're gonna cut a belly band two inches wide by seven and a half inches tall, and you're gonna score it half an inch on top, half an inch on the bottom. It's gonna burnish those, put um, fold and burnish, Put some tape on and then you're going to adhere it right in the middle and you will have your belly band right smack dab in the middle like this so get your belly band right down in the middle and then you're just going to get this paper from the um, backgrounds called patterns and solids but it's the backgrounds and you're just going to cut a piece that fits on on this whole length of this paper and you're just going to slide it under the, the belly band and adhere it. And the paper I used to cover the belly band, I'm pretty sure I got it from, I just found the zebra and this print here and it had the green stripe. I'm not sure, I, I cut it off so I'm not sure which one it is. But anyway, I just kind of had this piece kind of in the center so it was something in the middle, so that would go over the belly band. And then I cut this tag out, but I only used, I cut it out right here. I cut this top part off, so I cut that out here, and I put that down in the middle, so you can see, you can see it here. There's the top part. Here's the top part, 
of this, and then here's the bottom part of this. Inked it, put it down in the middle of the belly band, and then I put this little saying, walk through life like the strength of a lion. I got that from here, and I just put it on top of this piece. So it looks like that. And then just slipped this paper from the backgrounds, slipped it under there and heared it down. So that's it for this one. Not too bad, just make a little booklet um, later on, but this page is done.